All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rechach Wadash. Double honors to my apostle and elders at Great Millstone who do roll and teach well, and peace and salutations to all you Akim out there pushing the truth across the four winds so we can seal the elect and make it to the kingdom. All right, so the brother Yara, Lord, when they coming back to you through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, to feed the body and edify the sheep in all spirit, faith, truth, sincerity, and doctrine. All right, it's going to be a Lord willing, a short video, you know, just something real quick and through the spirit. You know, this is uh, I ran across this video, as you can see uh, from uh, this page uh, to Jake by the name of uh, what well, his page name is mediocre, mediocre tutorials and reviews. OK, I'm pretty sure bro is probably then seeing this guy's page, maybe. But this video here, you know, with the uh, obviously the end up. Right. But this is not a video about the end up. OK. For all you, you know, uh, uh, entertainment Israelites that just want to come and, you know, uh, 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 watch for your entertainment. Okay. All right. This is for edification only. Okay. Because it's not about the end up. All right. It's about our people. Because obviously she's, she's a Jake. Right. And, you know, this is, a, this is a, you know, a prime example of, you know, Jake, you know, having that pride, man. Okay. Jake having that pride and Jake having to be cut off, you know, the, uh, uh, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai has, has to cut off two thirds of the nation of Israel, man, because of their pride, man. All right. On that note, let's grab this. It's the book of Zechariah, chapter 13 and verse eight. And it reads, and it shall come to pass that in that in all the land, which means the whole entire earth, right? saith the Lord, Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. All right. It's talking about. You Israelites, man, okay? Two parts of the nation of Israel, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native and Seminole Indians, man. Especially you indubs, man. Especially you women. All right? Have to be cut off and die. Okay? All right? You cannot fix a person, man. All right? Jake is at their lowest estate. That you, you have to understand that, okay? This is the lowest we've ever been as a people, as a nation, spiritually mentally physically everything man all right our people are destroyed completely okay the scriptures talk about that man that the whole head is sick man okay you cannot we can't we can't pull you know uh, uh two-thirds into the kingdom the way that they are over here and you know try to reprogram them or you know you know take them to school and you know teach them and teach them how to be you know righteous no man all right they have to be completely cut off man all right, and come back through the lowings, all right, of an elect man in the kingdom, man, okay? A righteous man, okay? You see? But on this side, you they have to be cut off, man. That's why the scripture says this, okay? That's why this is prophecy, all right? And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. But the third, all right, that small remnant, right, from the nation of Israel, shall be left therein okay those are the only ones that are going to be delivered okay because guess what unlike two-thirds you know we you know we, we are hope we, we are hoping to be a part of that number okay we're striving to be a part of that number man okay you know we're cleaning our spiritual garments man all right we're 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 we, we have become brainwashed okay we have wrought we have washed away all the filth all right and the knowledge and wisdom of this world okay and replaced it with true knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? You see? The two parts therein shall be cut off and die, man. And this is why. Because of pride. Okay? Now, this video here, I'm going to play a little bit of it. Okay? YouTube, don't strike me. Don't take down my video. Okay? This is for inter this is for educational purposes only. Okay? <clears throat> and hopefully the, you know, the brother doesn't, you know, the medio mediocre... Uh, tutorials and reviews doesn't you know give me a you know copyright strike right it's for edification man all right so i'll let him explain what's going on in the video i'm not going to play the whole video but i'll leave a link in the uh, description box please go check it out if you have the time okay because if this doesn't stir up your spirit and get you pissed off at jake then you, you most likely you're not in the right spirit okay all right now you're gonna laugh of course because it's the end up right but it shows you that 
See, <clears throat> Jake has, has to be cut off and die. Period. Just when you thought that you've seen it all. The video that we're going to review today is so damn ridiculous, but it's necessary to go over it. Essentially, it's an American love story between a brother by the name of Pootie and a strong, independent, BLM supporting woman named Destiny, who seems to live in a reality. Pootie and Destiny, man. All right. That sound like Pookie and Ray Ray and Shaniqua and, 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 and Keisha. Okay. That sound like two thirds, man. Okay. But let's continue. Where she is the only main character, but listen to me right now. This video right here demonstrates to a T what can happen if you are to be held responsible for somebody who does not respect your authority as a man. Without further ado. On December 8th, 2022, officers were dispatched to a report of a disorderly and intoxicated female in Naperville, Illinois. The 28-year-old female was allegedly banging on the doors of a closed business and damaging Christmas decorations. Okay, and I want some holiday party. Being being belligerent, man, okay? And this is just not this is just not the women, okay? All right, because our men have been raised by these type of women, okay? And guess what? They have the same, uh, 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 um, they have the same attitude, man. They have the same spirit as these women, as their mothers, okay? And they're they're overly emotional, all right, belligerent, you know, just like the woman, man, okay? Just like the woman, man, all right? So this is not just towards the women; it's towards the men as well, man. Two thirds, man. Period. Let's continue. Okay. And I'm lit. Okay, that's fine. Basically, exactly, that's fine, right? Because what? I'm not what? Not what, I don't know. Driving. Yeah. That's you know the rule. Where were you coming from? This. I'm this. So to pretty much set the premise, you know, because I watched the whole video already. All right. I need to get to that point where. Okay, where is it? It's lucky. Give me one second. Have you ever wondered why we are paid every two weeks when we work? Okay, so like you. There we are. Have you ever wondered why we are paid every two weeks when we work every day? With Earn In, you can access. All right, so, <laughs> so like you. So. When I watched the video, pretty much what's going on is you have this woman here, all right, the end of a two third, all right, that's being belligerent. You know, she 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 left the club, all right. That's her that's her 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 her, her pookie, all right, right there, as, you know, standing standing in front of her and on the side of the officer, all right, pretty much trying to get her to leave, right. But she nope, that pride. She got to prove her point. She got to she got to she got to talk. She got to make you know. She got to make things worse, man. And and that's Jake, man. Okay? Because as it is written in the scriptures, let me get that. All right. Um, let's see. Yep. Agree with thine. Yep. Agree with thine adversary, man. Okay? Because what she should have did was, was what? First of all, she should have followed the authority of her man. Okay, if her man said, "All right, hey, time to go, chill out, let's let's leave," she should have chilled out and left with her man. But obviously, we live in a in, in a society where you know uh, 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 um, the Israelite man is at the bottom of the totem pole when it comes to respect. All right, and everything else, but mainly respect, right? Especially when it comes to our women. All right, so of course she's not going to listen to him. But even it even got to the point where that the officers went to investigate the uh, the uh, club, all right? Because she's supposed to be vandalized the outside of this this uh, club or or a uh, 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 restaurant that she came out of, and the restaurant or, or or club owner said, you know what? She's good. We don't even want to press any charges. She can leave. The cops relayed the message to her, let her know, hey, look, you can leave, all right? At that point, she should have left, but nope, she didn't want to leave. She still wanted to, she still had to keep that pride, right? This is the book of St. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 25, all right? And it reads, agree with thine adversary quickly, all right? Doesn't just say agree with thine adversary, okay? 
agree with thine adversary quickly whilst thou art in the way with with him okay all right because both of them they were you know especially her she they, she was in the way all right she was in the way with the uh the the edomite officers right and she said it agreed with them quickly when they said hey look you can leave she said it left all right her man you know she should have left with her man but of course she's not going to do that right she doesn't respect him but she should have left when they told her to leave nope she couldn't leave man that, that pride all right i want to show you exactly what i'm talking about here right he comes out of the restaurant watch this relays the messages and they ask her to leave these days and i ain't gonna lie like i'm fucking caucasian i'm fucking white all right destiny you're good to go i know let's go let's go let's go the fuck i ain't this shit so what the fuck what they have goodbye you want to leave leave go they're telling her to go look at look at you want to leave go look wait wait a second though they're gonna cry at me you're yelling at all of us so leave you are there go the pride. See that? <laughs> she could have left. She said, what? It's over? Nothing? Oh, no. I'm going to get something out of this. Our people are just wise to do evil, man. All right? And evil meaning what? Evil going back to... Evil meaning... Uh, so, like, evil in the Hebrew is the word rye. Okay? And it means what? Bad times. Okay? You see? And what she did was she was scot-free. Right. Because, you know, you know, women these days and, you know, in uh, Esau's kingdom can do whatever the hell they want to and get away scot free with it. OK. Right. And she got away. She, she had a chance to get away scot, scot, scot free. Right. But nope. You saw the look on her face. That demon kicked in. Uh, 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 this ain't over. You don't tell me what. Look, she, she yelled at the officer. You, you don't tell me when to leave, bitch. You see, that's what she said. Right. But see. That's the moment that that pride kicked in. Let's look at that. Let's look at her face. Just, just look at her face. Okay, look at her face. Hey, you oh, want to leave? Go. Leave. Go. They're yeah, telling go. her to go. Let's look at, go. look at. You want to leave? Look. Go. Wait, look. wait, wait, wait a second though. Don't, don't holler at me. You're yelling at all of us. So you leave. leave. You are. You. Nope. Except for leaving, it's don't holler at me, B. You see? <laughs> and this is why our people have to be destroyed, man. Okay, they have to be cut off and die, man. All right. You see? Let me get this. They shall know it. Matter of fact, let's just put in death by pain. All right. It's the book of Second Edris. All right. It's another one I want to grab too. It's actually in Second Edris chapter 8, but. This is Second Ezra chapter nine and verse twelve, and it reads the same. Matter of fact, let me let me start up. So like it, let me start up. All right. Let me see if I can probably start up some more. Actually, now we get straight to the point. This book is Second Ezra chapter nine and verse eleven, and it reads, "And they that have loathed my law." Okay, the only ones that were given the law were who? The Israelites, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native and Seminole Indians, okay? You see? And you're being reminded of the law by the Lord raising up his men to go on the highways and hedges, all right? And to correct you, man, all right? To, 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 to warn you, all right? The prophets are on the highways and hedges to warn you, but you're not going to listen to us. And, that, and, and that's one of the main reasons why the Lord said this right here. OK, because two thirds of the nation of Israel in every lifetime that they lived on this planet have always been wicked. OK, every captivity, every kingdom that we're that we've been under. OK, they, they have been wicked. Read the Bible, man. All right. Read the history. That's just not a book. That's actually what happened. Our people and you see it today. You see a reflection of it today. Our people are still wicked, all right? And they're loathing the law of Yahweh Bashim It says, and they that have loathed my law, all right, while they had so like while, while they had yet liberty, okay? You have liberty to either 
uh, 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 be an adversary against the Lord or be friends with the Lord. OK, follow his laws. All right. Do what he told us to do in these end times or don't give a damn and don't do it. All right. You see, but they've loathed the law. OK. All right. They don't do it. All right. And they have liberty to do it or not. All right. And when as yet place of repentance was open unto them. See, right now is a time of repentance. OK, we are in the time of grace. Right. The Lord is the Lord showing grace to his people, man. OK, this is the time to repent. It's just not the grace period. Oh, I'm good. We're, you know, death is on a timeout. No, it's not. OK, judgment is on a timeout. No, it's not. All right. This is the time to repent. Right. To turn back to the Lord. But nope. When as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not. All right. And just and, and just didn't give a damn. OK. But despised it. All right. Verse 12, it says the same. Right. You same two third hard headed, stiff neck, rebellious, prideful Israelites. OK. Must know it after death, after judgment by pain. OK. You're not just going to be judged. You're going to be judged horribly. All right. You're going to suffer. OK. You're going to suffer for your rebellious actions, man, for your pride, for not for, for, for you know, for for not listening to the men of the Lord. man. All right. For not for not taking heed of that warning that the Lord was trying to give you through his mouthpieces. OK, which is his men. All right. You see. Let me get this here. I'll go into scriptures and get this. And then we'll close it out. You know, I didn't really have any scriptures planned. You know, this is just all through the spirit. But, you know, feel free, you know, if bros, you know, see this lesson and want to add precepts, Baba Kasha, you know, it'll just be more edif edifying. You know, this is uh, the book of Second Ezra, chapter eight. And I'm going to go to verse 50. Brothers know what I'm about to grab. All right. And it reads for many great miseries, for many great miseries shall be done to them who's of them you okay you wicked two-third israelites man okay you rebellious and prideful two-third israelites all right shall be done to them that in the latter time which is the time we're in now right shall dwell in the world okay why because they have walked in great pride. And that's the reason that's the whole, this is the scripture I thought about immediately once I, once I watched this, watch that video. Okay. Like I said, I'm going to leave a link inside of the uh, description box. Okay. Go check it out whenever you have time. Okay. Like I said, it's going to be funny because it's the end up, right? But then also, man, it's, it's going to, it's going to irritate your spirit, man. It's going to be a reminder of why two thirds of, uh, of the nation of Israel must be cut off and judged okay and die all right they gotta go all right <laughs> so i'm gonna leave it there lord willing it's edifying to the body and the fed the sheep through the spirit and poverty how about shimmy i was shy i want to give all praise honor and glory to yahweh bahashim yahweh shy bahashim rechakwadash shalom and ababa ball